it's me. Um, it's Sunday and um, I have my appointment tomorrow with the um, biopsy place and I just wanted to say about the appointment tomorrow. Um, I got a call on Friday. Actually I got two calls on Friday from the imaging centre where I'm having the biopsy. Ooh. Am I having the biopsy at the <laughs> imaging centre? I'm not sure. Probably should find out, shouldn't I? Oh, I think it might be there. It must be there. Anyway, I had a call, two calls on Friday. And um, the first one was a little odd. Um, they said, you have to pay to get this biopsy done uh, because one of the benefits from your insurance is that you get to pay for um, like $150 to do this biopsy and you have to pay for it prior to actually getting the biopsy done or we won't do the biopsy and I thought what? what? Um, I just hit my legs, I did not fart god that's getting old, I need to just put something on my lap um, anyway so they said uh, yes if you want to get this done on Monday you have to pay for it prior to the actual biopsy um, so that we do the biopsy and I thought whoa gotta love the insurance thing here in the um, health care system and all that kind of stuff um, so that was really interesting and then they called me later to, to make sure I was going I thought I already said that I was going it's not like I can say hey let's put this off again um, but um, yeah so I've got that tomorrow I'm not sure if Wade's going because he got the dates mixed up even though we booked this on Wednesday and <laughs> He's going to try and get back because he has this thing tomorrow. Anyway, otherwise Billy will take me. Um, but he says, Wade says he's going on Wednesday to see what the results are. Yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. And this is really starting to get me down. Because prior to June of this year, I hadn't been to the doctor. And I know this is really slack. And everybody, all women out there, and men too, should go and get checkups and whatever. Yearly checkups and all that kind of stuff. But I hadn't been to a doctor for years. Uh, I did have a mammogram about four years ago and then my dad, whatever happened, blah blah, and I never went back for the biopsy then, which was for a lump. But I just stupidly or whatever assumed that it would be um, the fibroadenoma thing. So prior to this I hadn't been and then prior to that, I hadn't been to the doctor for freaking years, okay? Seven years I think it was that I'd actually been to the doctor. My doctor has retired. I used to have an English doctor and he was really quirky and he was more into holistic approaches and stuff like that rather than, um, you know, prescribing medication. So prior to this year, I hadn't been on antibiotics for 250,000 years. Uh, I hadn't been on any medication for, for at least 12 years. No, actually, I think it was 14 years the last time I took medication. Um, no, tell a lie, I was on Prilosec and I don't want to go into that, but I was on uh, acid blockers for a long time since my first pregnancy, which is why I buggered up my stomach and digestive tract and had to go all through that shit. Um, and so I hadn't been for ages. Anyway, people do not take acid blockers because usually it's alkaline, the reflux thing, and I don't want to go into that, but there are solutions and get a book called um, something about the stomach um, acid. I've got it over there. I'll recommend it some other time. Or maybe I'll put it in the um, description below. <clears throat> but still, hadn't been to the doctor for three years. This year I've been to the doctor, had to re-register with my um, um, GP, or whatever they're called here. Then I had to re register a month later because they changed hands. So I had to go through all that paperwork again. And then I had to, then I got the tummy thing done in June. I've had nothing but doctor's appointments this year, <clears throat> then decided to do, get my pap smear for the first time in 13 years. Just had a mammogram, as you all know. But for three years, three years in January, I was using, um, I bought Wade a heavy, like a hundred pound punching bag that we have suspended in the garage. And uh, I bought myself some really cute pink boxing gloves and I bought Wade some black ones, not pink ones. And I injured my shoulder. But because of my um, having to do weights, because of having to support these babies, um, 
three times a week I do weights and so I had taken about a month off but then I get upper back pain so I had to go back to doing weights about two months ago or so it started to really hurt but I think I'd uh, sprained it with not being able to use my abdominal muscles uh, and having to use my arms to pull myself up all the time and so I really injured it and I've been using as I've mentioned the uh, TENS machine on here and in the back anyway I've kept re-injuring and everybody's saying you need to get it looked at you need to get x-rays you need to get an MRI blah 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 I injured it again today because I'm right-handed and I favor that side so I injured it again bringing in a heavy box and then opening it I pulled and and a thing like went bing and, and it went and my arm went flying back um, and so I injured it again and I'm in pain and I said to Holly today I almost contemplated taking one of those Percocets of which I took only I think two during the whole of my abdominal thingy and so um, I said I'm contemplating even taking one today because my shoulder is killing me and I really can't take time off from because then I get up a back pain blah 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 blee 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 so yeah I'm thinking that if things turn out okay with the booby then I'm actually going to have to go and get my shoulder looked at I did weights on Friday without a weight on this side I just lifted my arm and barely could do that I usually do one day I'll make a, a workout video, I usually do 120 push-ups. I couldn't do one. And I definitely cannot do push-ups with one arm. Wade's done that before when he broke his hand. Uh, I can't do it with one hand. Uh, and, and obviously I couldn't do any push-ups at all because of my shoulder. Um, so yes, I'm probably going to have to have it looked at. I'm probably going to have to have physical therapy because I'm not going to have a surgery on it. I can't. I just cannot do another surgery. I know this one was self-imposed and all that, but I just can't do it. Anyway, um, has it, uh, I'm sure everybody knows what's going on, but I'm curious as to why people are taking down their French flags off the Facebook um, avatar, their own Facebook avatars. After Friday, um, a lot of people have superimposed the French flag. Facebook is, has this thing where you can put the French flag onto your picture. Um, I didn't do that. I just put um, the Eiffel Tower, really pretty um, backlit picture of the Eiffel Tower. Um, but people put that up on Saturday, and already people are taking them down today. So I'm wondering why. I mean, I'm reading about the whole. Everybody's arguing about um, other things that have other atrocities that have been happening, that are happening, that have happened, um, and why Facebook didn't allow people to superimpose other flags uh, for other things that have happened um, but I mean not everything is as widely publicized as what happened on Friday uh, and you can't help but but read about what happened on Friday and um, I don't understand why there's all this infighting with people arguing the toss about flags and all this crap when you know I feel that everybody should be uniting against a greater goal I don't want to get all political and, and, and talk about politics because that's just I don't want to uh, but I just find all this backbiting and all this stupidity I find it astonishing um, I think that we should all be supporting each other um, against this poison that seems to be taking over pockets everywhere. There's a lot of thing about uh, a lot of talk about the refugees uh, that are um, infiltrating all the European countries. Um, it's a lot of this is a lot of confusion there's a lot of now uh, suspicion there's a lot of mistrust um, and you know you've got to understand that people are going to be suspicious um, because <laughs> hey what a good way of getting people in across borders 
Um, but with that said, not what percentage of these people are actually um, evil gets? And what percentage of these people are people running away from these evil gets? So, yeah, I don't want to talk about politics, but I, it's just, everything is so, and nobody's safe. I mean, I'm sitting here in America, are we safe here? No. People in Australia, are you safe there? No. I mean, <laughs> we all know what happened in Australia. Uh, so you think, you know, countries dotted around aren't, are, are slightly safer than the ones that are, are, are in Europe that, are, you know, that are so close to where, the, the, you know, the, the nucleus is. Shut up, woman. Just shut up. Anyway, um, sorry about that. <clears throat> but uh, we watched a really good film yesterday. Um, so if somebody wants to watch something entertaining with their kids, uh, even the older kids, uh, there's a new Shaun the Sheep film out, which seems so stupid after that. Uh, there's a new Shaun the Sheep film out, um, and it is so entertaining. I love Shaun the Sheep. I sleep with a little Shaun the Sheep. He's so cute. Um, Shaun the Sheep's hairstyle is absolutely brilliant. Everybody should have it. Well, not me, because I'm not going to cut my hair and have it Shaun the Sheep. But all men should get <laughs> Shaun the Sheep hair. Yes. So, uh, wish me luck for tomorrow. Um, results will be on Wednesday. I've been reading about it. I've been having really bad dreams, and I'm sure it's not just about that. It's about what is going on in the world, and the world's imploding. Um, but there's a lot of stuff on my mind, uh, and I've been having horrible dreams, and uh, sleeping very poorly. The shoulder's been waking me up several times a night, as have the bad dreams. Hopefully this will be another freaking hurdle that we can just jump over, health-wise. Um, and I hope that something happens to resolve what's going on in the bigger picture outside of these four walls. Because something has to happen. Because we can't let terrorists get away with murdering innocent people. Okay, thanks for watching. Subscribe, um, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe, blah blah, share the video. Uh, if you have any thoughts or want to share anything, please comment in the comments thing below. I hope I can switch this camera off because I'm going to do it with my left hand and I won't be able to do it properly. Thanks for watching. Bye!